now within the vicinity of the Nijo Castle. Entrance is 600 yen, I think. 600 yen for adults. Nijo Castle. That's the entrance. <laughs> We're still at the gate. This is a map of the palace grounds. Oh, it looks like a big place. It's already three. We only have an hour. <sighs> Why can I wake up early? Mm, this is the Nino Maru Palace, which I think is kind of unique because most of the palaces I've seen in East Asia are usually of the red and gold motif. This is quite different. Look at that. That there's no toilet in Minamaru Palace. It's funny. Anyway, this is the palace. It's unique, no? I haven't seen anything like it in East Asia. I think Japanese palaces are unique. They look different. Mm, this leads to the garden. We're still walking at the garden. This is still part of the castle earlier. Or the palace, or whatever you want to call it. Another pond. Imagine if you lived here. It would be very peaceful, you know. Just going out here in the afternoon, sitting on one of the rocks and watching that waterfall there. Wow. Uh, that leads to the to another palace. And that leads to Seryu Garden and the other side leads to Sakura Sakura no Sono. I think cherry blossoms, but it's it's summer so I don't think if there's any. We'll just go there first. This is what you find by the entrance. Large rocks and some houses over there. rest here there's a breeze and the sun is not so bright so nice view look at those mountains Entrance 700 yen. I think this is a Seryu garden. I think the 700 yen is for the tea ceremony. Yeah, we're back at the gate. I guess it's already close. Four. That's the castle route. Who wants to buy a sword? Time check quarter to five looks like a big place. <sighs> I don't know. We'll see. Looks like there's no entrance fee. There is an entrance fee, 400 yen. It closes at five, it's quarter to five. <laughs> anyway, tripods are not allowed inside. But you can take pictures of course and videos. But no tripods. Uh, 400 yen is worth it. Why? It's because of that one. Look at that. It's the Golden Pavilion. I think it's a World Heritage site. It's so beautiful. Awesome. It's gold. It glitters. Look at the reflection on the water. Wow. I'd pay more than 400 yen to see that. Palace break. 
Whoa, it's gold! One more time, look how it glitters. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> He just keeps staring at it all day long. One last look. I kind of got addicted to it. Good. Moving on, it's... Uh, I think it's already 5, but there are still people coming in. Maybe we have extended hours during the summer. How do you make it, like, not... Out, going down. So here's a map over here. Uh, apparently this is a residential area but the houses look like they are palaces. I mean same structure. And this is the Imperial Palace. And then there's another one there. So we'll just go up and see if we could still see something despite the darkness. Yeah, it's getting dark. It's already 6. It's almost dark. Not yet totally dark, but hard to see. Those are the castle walls, I mean palace walls. We'll go there to see the main palace, which is not visible from here because of the dark. Uh, this is one of the palace gates. I'm sorry if it's so dark. My phone sucks, but it has no flash. I mean, seriously? This is the main gate. Oh shit, it's so dark. <laughs> shit. Okay, I think uh, admission is free, but you have to join a group tour, which is organized by the administrators of the palace. I think English tours are 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock, according to Wiki Travel. So there, I'm sorry it's so dark, but we can't see anything either, so what can we do? That's it. Just go here in the morning, okay? Okay, it's the Kyoto subway, different one. How to go to Rio? I know it's dark and we've only seen one geisha so far. Actually it was a middle-aged woman in a kimono but <laughs> you know, I guess can be choosers. But this seems to be this seems to be the old Gion area. Okay, I'll try to get some light. Yeah, there's like a river there and a bridge. It's like what you what I've read in the book. But it's so dark. It must be beautiful here in the morning. Yeah, see the houses. Start. Well, Gion looks all modern now, but some of the old areas really look like they've jumped out of Arthur Golden's novel. Gion Lamp Post Museum. Uh, that's the Cabarengo Theater, Gion something something. Uh, this street, I think, is a special street where the houses are preserved, but we can't seem to see any geisha anywhere. It's like they're on day off or something. And there are a lot of taxis going through here, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, I wish there were more lights. Kyoto Station, 